Hey guys, what's up? It's Giovanni, and today we are going to look at the Bedouin Foundry Genghis. I don't know if you can see. Bedouin, made in England. This is a cool bag. <clears throat> a lot of people in the carry community know about it, but it's kind of weird. There's not a lot of reviews on YouTube or even online about this awesome bag. So Bedouin Foundry is uh, founded in England by Silas Grant, and this is, um, this is an awesome messenger. It's made with a 12 ounce waxed canvas by Haley, uh, from Haley Stevenson, and then has Italian uh, vegetable tanned leather, uh, cobra buckles, and then on the inside, it has not YKK zips, but it has a uh, Riri zips. And then of course it comes with a dust bag that has like this really cool uh, printed design on it. But what I wanna do is as usual, I wanna go through the different compartments of the bag, uh, give you an overview, things that I like, things that I don't like, and things to consider because honestly, this is a work of art. This isn't just a product. It is a, a work of art, of craftsmanship. The only downside that there, that I see with it is that it's a little bit form over function. Um, and we'll get, we'll get into that in, in, in a couple minutes. So here, it just, it's just a classy design. We see the leather here, Bedouin, uh, the two Cobra buckles. And then to show the back, there's no, I mean, it's padded, but there's no air channel. There's nothing going on here. This is just straight up wax canvas. Then you have, Nice padding here in this messenger strap. Nice padding. And then a very large cobra buckle with these um, seatbelt straps. And then a leather ac accent uh, to, uh, for the strap keeper. So this um, normally when you purchase a Genghis from Bedouin, it is oriented for you to sling it over your left shoulder. But for me, I'm lefty. And slinging things over my left shoulder, as I've mentioned in previous videos, um, I hate it. So I actually had this one custom made to be right shoulder oriented. So let's go through through the bag. So you saw you pop open the two Cobra buckles and then this opens up. And what I'm showing you inside is 100% my work everyday carry, which includes a laptop, uh, two pouches, and a couple other little accoutrements that, that are inside the bag. So you open up the bag, and we'll start off here first. You have like a nice zippered pocket. And I keep here my normal, usual stuff that I talk about when it comes to my EDC for, for work. Skittles, um, Clorox wipes. And then also I have hand sanitizer in here somewhere. Hand sanitizer. And of course the tag that comes um, from Bedouin itself with a little wax mark, kind of cool. So it's it's pretty deep. I mean, it's, it fits my whole entire hand, but it's not terribly it's not terribly big in terms of how much stuff. Like everything you you put in here has to be flat. Essentially, there's not a lot of room here. But right off the bat, these zippers, man, just really nice zippers. Leather leather um, zipper pull here, but real smooth. Has a nice satisfying sound to it. Uh, really, really nice. So behind this is another pocket. It's not zippered, it's just another kind of drop pocket. Behind it, another drop pocket. Then you have this second one, which is much bigger. And in the second one, I have my Air Slim Pouch, my Peak Design Tech Pouch, and I have my Topo Design Canvas Pouch with um, some tools. So you see here in this pocket here, you have it's a much bigger pocket. And then you come to the largest pocket of all, which is where I keep my my um, surface book in a Bellroy sleeve. And now the bag is completely empty. And you see here, the bag is quite, this pocket is quite big. And I could fit my laptop in here. You saw I put all those, those uh, pouches. So it fits quite a bit. The only thing is that the website says this is 25 liters. And there is no way that this is 25 liters because I have other 20, 
uh, I have a 26 liter uh, Goruk One Heritage. I've done a video on that. The Belroy Apex, I've done a video on that, which is also 26 liters. And those two bags will eat up all that EDC that I just took out times two and then some. In this bag, just what I took out is this bag is packed out because as you may have noticed with this pocket, this big pocket here being filled with the laptop with the second pocket having uh, the two pouches and then just having like a couple like little tools and accoutrements here, it, it made these two back pockets unusable because it was just pushed too much. So that is really the main issue for me with, with this bag is that it doesn't hold as much as it's advertised. So again, on the website, it says 25 liters, but really this is more like 15, 17 liters of space. So if that's something that you, if you're interested in something like this, then just keep that in mind when you're purchasing it, that the capacity really is about 15 or 17. Um, so yeah, then the other thing, that I've noticed is if you're in a hot climate, this bag is steaming. I wore this all day yesterday for work and a lot of my work is me getting in and out of my car, walking to offices. It was about a hundred degrees outside. And I know, I get it. No bag is going to be great in a hundred degree weather, but oh boy, this thing was scorching. So that's one thing that you wanna consider. If you're in a place that is consistently hot, then maybe wax canvas isn't for you <laughs> or or something that has a flat wax canvas back maybe won't be for you um so yeah that that's the consideration here so here's the other thing uh with, the, with this bag it looks great when it's empty as well so you saw it a little bit filled up it looks great when it's empty because this bottom section kind of folds over and then with the cobra buckles you can just cinch it down. So I'm gonna put this on and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So for me, like I said, lefty, I sling it over my right shoulder and then just cinch it down real easy. So this is what it looks like. It's it's a it's a cool looking bag. I, I, I have to I have to admit it's a, it's a when I'm wearing this bag and I'm walking to and from offices. I feel like a rock star. Like I feel good walking around with this thing because I think it's just such a classy, but fashion forward. And it's just like a sophisticated looking bag, at least to me. Um, so here, here you go. Like again, you have the, the nice Cobra buckle and you see that there. And then also this padding, I don't know if you could see it, see this, but it's like, two strips of padding and it's just real good. So here's the issue that I have with the bag. When I take this off, there's two ways that you can do it. I've talked to a couple of, of my uh, bag nerd friends <laughs> and they said that whenever they took this bag off that they would unclip it and then take it off, which is great. But if I have a lot of stuff in here, these, these Cobra buckles, if there's any pressure they, they won't they won't open. So I have to like grab this, push in the buckle, release, and then even then it comes out. So then I have to kind of flip this over and then reclip. It's a lot of steps, at least to me. That, that To me, that doesn't feel super smooth, but you know, maybe I'm just being nitpicky. And now the other way of taking this thing off is if I just grab it and take it off. So that's, that's another way of doing it. Another thing that I've done is if instead of if like, if I don't have uh, much of a walk to the office or where I'm going, I'll just kind of sling it over my shoulder real quick. And it looks, it looks fine. It looks fine. So again, look, this isn't a utilitarian bag. This isn't a uh, nomadic. <laughs> this isn't a mystery ranch. This it, you are wearing a work of art. And because of the materials, the, this bag is going to last you a long time because 12 ounce Haley Stevenson wax canvas is 
super durable. This leather is super durable. And then on top of that, the materials are great. Guys, the craftsmanship on this thing is bonkers. I mean, look, let me see if I can show this to you. Ch check out the nice stitching all along. You, the, you, great stitching all through this. It's just a really nice bag. So again, pros and cons. Pros, it's a beautiful bag. You're gonna feel like a million bucks wearing it. It's just, it's, it's gonna be a conversation starter. Um, it does hold a bit. I mean, it's 15 to 17 liters. The downsides are that, that the, cap the capacity, depending on what your use case is. And then also that if you pack it out, that the main compartment is packed and this like kind of like secondary pocket is packed, then the rest of the pockets are not really gonna be useful. So really, you could really only use this zipper pocket and then this pocket and this pocket, either the two. And that's it. So that's something to consider uh, when looking at this bag. It's, it's not a, a cheap, uh, bag but like I said this is a bag that if you do purchase it it's going to last you a long time so please give uh, the Bedouin Genghis a look and let me know what you think is this something that you've been looking at something that you've been considering um, really it's, it's like I said it's a beautiful bag and one that can get some conversation started I, I bet you that if you start carrying this bag people are going to notice it because it is so unique it is so cool looking that people are going to take note. Um, I use this a lot when I go to higher end um, clients, when I go to a place that's, that's um, you know, a little, not, not super formal, but a little bit higher end, I would normally take this because again, this is a very high end, uh, beautiful bag. Um, so guys, thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, hit the, the bell. And what I'll do is next week, I will probably go over the track banak um, instead of the Bellroy Weekender and because um, I feel that I need to travel a little bit more with the Weekender to give it a proper review. So we'll be going over the track banak because I, I love that bag. It's one of my favorite my favorite work bags. So all right guys take it easy and see you soon.